Strange smell that 10 News viewers reported last night causing some to cancel activities is being reviewed by the Air Pollution Control District. So far, no answers, but 10 News anchor Virginia Cha joins us with the interesting discovery made by local researchers. Could it offer an explanation, Virginia? That is the question, Kim. Scripps Institution of Oceanography grad students just happened to make the discovery about two weeks ago during a research trip. They found a deep sea site where gas appears to be leaking from the sea floor. Deep down under the ocean, methane gas is known to sometimes seep along continents. Using a specially equipped research vessel, five Scripps graduate students set out to find seepage near us. Heading 20 miles west of Del Mar using echo sounding, they noticed a distinct mound on the sea floor about 3,400 feet down. How big a deal is this discovery? Uh, well, it's a really big deal for, for us. They brought up carbonate, a rock that gives off carbon dioxide, and certain tube worms and clams that only exist around methane and hydrogen sulfide. So could the methane, which is more than 20 miles out, more than half a mile down, and it's normally odorless, be the source of the mysterious smell? What we might smell um, is hydrogen sulfide, which smells like rotten eggs, and that is associated with methane seeps, but the methane itself um, doesn't smell like anything. I think it's highly unlikely that it would, it would reach shore, even if it was emitting an odor, which I don't think it is. <laughs> Could the methane and sulfide be mixing to cause the smell? These researchers don't think so, but the discovery is sitting right over an active fault zone. It's not really, under, not, not really well understood how, this fault, how faults, um, when they move, if they release more gas. For now, no real conclusions, but researchers will head out again in December to learn more. Until then, they say we don't need to worry about the methane seep. The methane seep, I don't think, poses um, any hazard, and it's, it's a really neat environment, and we're excited to, to find out more about it. Now, geologist Pat Abbott says tiny underwater earthquakes could cause gas to burst through, though there wasn't one near that site recently. He agrees it's an unlikely source for the smell, but he doesn't rule it out either. We have a link at the red TV button on 10news.com to report any odors after you first alert your local authorities. I'm Virginia Cha, 10 News.